Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here. I'm coming to you guys today uh, with another educational video. This one is going to be an email response uh, to someone who reached out to me who is interested in launching uh, a medical tourism company. And I want to go ahead and answer that live. So uh, hopefully if you guys have a question uh, similar to this, um, it'll help you out. So let me pull up the email. Um, the email starts off, hello Gilliam, I'm looking to start a medical tourism business concentrating on Ukraine and Eastern Europe. I would like advice on how to begin with no experience in this field. I am an engineer here in Washington, D.C., but lived in the Ukraine for years. Okay, so the basis of his question is, is that he wants to start a business uh, with no experience. Um, he's a highly educated man. He's an engineer. Um, but he's looking uh he's looking to get into medical tourism and he understands that there's things that he might not know and he just wants some feedback so with this client um, i will go over some basic things he needs to just get up and running and kind of get the process going i'm not going to go through every single um every single detail of what he needs to do um, we have uh, more information on our website on our blogs um, in, in other educational videos that you'll be able to uh, get a better understanding of, of all the aspects uh, that, that you'll need to, to build a company. Uh, but just to get started, um, I always say that, you know, the best basis to start a business is education, um, finding out the uh, best practices of the industry, finding out what it takes to, uh, to coordinate trips, what it takes to make sure you, your patients has the best experience. So I would definitely start off with getting certified. Um, as you guys might know, we have uh, a certification called uh, the Certified Medical Travel Agent course, and I would definitely recommend that to this individual who's just getting started and needs to understand um, how the industry functions and how a medical tourism facilitator is supposed to uh, is supposed to bring value to the whole medical tourism experience. So after I would recommend him to get certified, um, out the next step I would say is that he needs to start working on his uh, business plan, his outline for his company, uh, what type of customers uh, and demographic that they will be going after of as far as uh, marketing, etc. cetera. Um, and, and, and there are some basic tools that every medical tourism facilitator needs to have in place uh, to operate a successful and safe medical tourism uh, organization. Um, so when I say safe, I mean risk mitigation tools like contractual agreements uh, between the patient and the facilitator, uh, contractual agreements between the healthcare provider and the facilitator, um, and, and so on and so forth. So you definitely need to have those in place before you coordinate any medical tourism trip for any patients. And these are just some of the tools, right? There's a whole range of tools that uh, that he would need, uh, that he's going to need uh, to launch this company and, and partner with, uh, with healthcare providers and other individuals as well. And then he's obviously going to need a presence online. Uh, he's going to need his social media set up. He's going to need his logo, um, his domain name, um, a, a website that's, uh, that's designed uh, properly to convert patients uh, into actual customers. So he's going to need a, a whole host of things. Um, and then after you get the website built, he's obviously going to need to market the website to get in front of his target audience. So th there's a whole host of things he's going to need going forward. Uh, but just to start, I would say the basis uh, of starting a company, if you have no experience, is going to be finding out um, exactly what the medical tourism industry offers clients and find out how to set up a medical tourism agency that thrives and that works with patients all around the world and that's providing the best service possible. And the easiest way to do that is to get a professional certification or some form of online training. So you really understand your numbers, you understand the statistics, you understand uh, where the industry is going and find out how to operate a company during uh, a pandemic, during the, during COVID. These are all things that, uh, that the certification and training uh, is going to teach you. So that's why I would start. But this was just a short response video to, to really uh, give him an understanding of what a start, right? Um, there's there's going to be more things he's going to need down the road. But the most important thing um, when you're thinking about uh, starting a medical tourism company is simply getting started, right? Uh, simply start taking the steps you need to, to build the business that you have or that you envision. Thanks for watching this short reply video, guys. Um, if you have a question about medical tourism, feel free to reach out to me uh, through one of our websites. I'd be more than happy to answer for you either live or through a private email. Um, also, if you're in the process of launching a company or maybe you already uh, operate a medical tourism company uh, and you need more resources, reach out to me. 
Um, we have every tool, resource, and document that you'll need to expand your company and grow it to its full potential. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, guys.